Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and privilege for me to welcome you all to Addis Ababa and preside over the official joining opening of the eighth session of the Statistical Commission for Africa, the eighth meeting of the Regional Committee of United Nations Global Geospatial Information Management for Africa, and the expert group meeting on CRVS in preparation for next year's sixth conference of ministers. We all agree that official statistics play a crucial role in aiding policymakers and other decision makers to achieve sustainable development. Most African countries have had some success in reforming and updating government statutes to meet the needs of national development, including but not limited to the use of digital technology. Nonetheless, resulting from both demand and supply side constraints, countries continue to face common transformation and modernizing challenges. This includes, among others, data ecosystems, which are increasingly offering new opportunities, fostering the usage of digital data and technology for development in the continent. There are also an increasing number of key data stakeholders in the continent actively engaged to meet the needs of statistics users with efficient solutions. You would agree with me that the most significant achievements for many of the national statistical system has been the enhancement and use of administrative data owned by the government and creating new forms of digital data. Currently, the use of digital technological skills is cornerstone of surveys and census due to the increased efficiency with which it helps to rapidly meet customer requests. NSS must be imaginative, resilient, efficient, and adaptable in using digital technology and other meters. The regional committee meeting of United Nations Global Geospatial Information Management, Africa will be given the opportunity to foster the effective use of geospatial products and resources to address emerging global challenges and support various social and economic sectors in Africa. Improving our understanding of where is essential for modernizing the data ecosystem in Africa to support regional integration in the continent. The upcoming sixth ministerial conference on civil registration will be preceded by the experts group meeting on civil registration and vital statistics. The meeting will be essential for adopting measures that will assist African states in achieving goal 16.9, which requires 100% birth registration and at least 80% death registration. Unfortunately, Africa continues to have the highest proportion of unregistered births and deaths in the world, and this gap increased by the COVID-19 pandemic. The continent also faces the problem of identifying cause of deaths. As a result, only a handful of countries are capable of producing mortality and cause of death statistics with sufficient quality to guide public health decision-making and planning. This situation, which has endured for every long time, must change. I'm confident that this event would defy the steps Africa must take to stop the tragedy of invisibility. In my country, the Ethiopian Static Service is carrying out several activities to modify and update statistics. For Ethiopian Stat Statistics survey, Service Surveys and Census, 
electronic devices are utilized to collect and transmit data. This improves quality, speed, and economizes manpower and cost. The consumer price index, for example, is now released between the first and fifth days of the following months, a significant improvement in timelines. Additionally, SS is seeking to collect new data for monitoring national plans and sustainable development goals, such as on agriculture. SS plans to include new SDG indicators into the demographic and health survey and other socio-economic surveys. Ethiopia has already conducted three population and housing census. The first two census employed traditional methods for census cartography work. SS is now trans transitioning from analog to digital census cartographic mapping. The innovative mobile GIS mapping technology has been developed for the last cartographic work. This increases the GIS data's correctness and timeliness. The, the 2007 Population and Housing Census Atlas, the Early Agricultural Sample Surveys Atlas, and two Rural Facilities and Services Atlas were also prepared by ASS. In addition, a geo database of SS census borders is being created. The Ethiopian government has achieved significant additional strides in vital statistics procedures, which I hope shall be shared during the course of your deliberations. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, much of Africa's key successes in reforming and modernizing national statistical systems have been attributable to non-traditional abilities such as statistical leadership, political engagement, inventiveness, and communications. Allow me to congratulate you for being the driving force behind this achievement. And Africa relies on you to effectively update and transform the continental data environment. I should also re-emphasize on the role of African governments should play in altering and enhancing national statistic systems by setting a budget that is both adequate and sustainable. I wish to take this opportunity to reiterate the commitment of the government of Ethiopia to continue to support the national statistic systems efforts to deliver accurate and timely data for planning and decision making based on evidence. Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I'm confident that these meetings will produce agreed upon recommendations and solutions to strengthen the African national statistical system in order to produce high quality data for monitoring the development plans of their respective countries, Agenda 2063 and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. I now proclaim open the AIDS meeting of the African Statistical Commission, the AIDS Regional United Nations Global Geospatial Information Management for Africa, and the experts group meeting in preparation for the sixth conference of African ministerial responsible for civil registration. I wish you fruitful deliberations and wish our guests an enjoyable stay in Addis Ababa. I thank you. <laughs>